How long does this usually take? It takes as long as it takes. You don't just call him like a dog. There's a million more efficient ways of contacting him, but you do it like this? Symbols are important. Just like principles. This is a waste of my time. The bad signal lets Gotham know I'm on the move. Gordon's smart to use it. It won't hurt to let the Riddler's gang know you're alive. I'll give you that much. Gordon, you're dismissed. This is still my goddamn station house. He's forgetting I'm the one who can make or break his career right now. You only remind me every other minute. Clearly, I need a better method of getting the message across. That's enough, Waller. This is Jim's precinct. He's free to do as he pleases. Maybe you weren't paying attention, but this is my turf now. You're gonna push me too far, you hear me? Is that a threat? No, just God's honest truth. Something you wouldn't know a damn thing about. She's got some kind of leverage on you, doesn't she? If she's jammed you up somehow, just say the word. I'll appeal to the mayor, the governor, whatever it takes to get her off your back. I'll do whatever I can to help you. Uh, this isn't right. None of it. I don't want to hear it. Just supposed to come to Gotham, put the chains on Riddler and his gang, and get the hell out. I'm just saying, this city gets under your skin. Fast. Know what I mean? Best laid plans and all that. I do know. This city has made me who I am. So I've heard. I just wish Gotham produced more Batmans and less Riddlers. Make my job a whole lot easier. I guess you locals see it differently. Agent of Esther. She fought to get on this assignment, you know. Wanted to see her old neighborhood. Wanted to see you. Her hometown hero. She wanted to impress you. She admires what you do for the people of this city. She certainly succeeded on that front. She's one of my best. Still, wanting to impress you? It's the same thing that made her move too fast on Riddler. Now there's a lesson learned. My lab techs were able to replicate a dose of the venom serum from the vial Bane left behind at the police arsenal. But with a twist, it's actually a counter-agent. After a brief rush, it'll flush the venom from his system, leaving him weak and exhausted. Could be useful. So, Wayne Enterprises. Heard you made some new friends. You're having me followed. Thanks to you, these very bad people have an EMP and a key that'll open every lock I would want to keep bolted shut. They're clearly planning something. The stakes are too high to leave anything to chance. You know, I actually considered asking you to infiltrate Riddler's gang. Before everything blew up, I knew I could count on you to get me close to them. Close to Bane. You're good at this. Seems like you've already won Harley Quinn's trust. What you saw was just a test. An operation like theirs requires someone with your resources. As long as you don't blow it, they're gonna want to keep Bruce Wayne around until they take him for all they can. Get them away from their base of operations. Somewhere, they'll be exposed. When they're all together, out in the open, contact me. I'll be standing by. Ready to ambush. We'll take them down when they're at their most vulnerable. Sound good? They'll never know what hit them. You need to involve Gordon. Don't tell me how to run my operation. His people know this city better than anyone. And they have their hands filled with other priorities right now. Batman. If it gets bad for you, just remember. We're out here. When you're in deep like this, you need friends. Let's say everything goes pear-shaped, and you get stuck in there longer than you'd like. Then what's right, what's wrong, it all gets blurry. And guess what? That's okay. 
because you're going to have to do some blurry things that you are not proud of before this is done. You hear me? That's just how these kinds of operations go down. You'd be a lot happier if you weren't always expecting the worst, Waller. I'd be out of a job if I didn't. When you're wrong, and it'll happen, you'll finally realize I'm just better at this than you are. Al, I'm in. Just don't stay embedded any longer than necessary. I'll be in and out, Alfred. Just long enough to figure out their plans. Good luck, Bruce. Stay safe. Welcome to our little hideaway and home away from home, the end of the line. We're happy to have you. Thanks, John. You said you'd kill him after you got what you needed. So what? Ain't a girl allowed to change her mind? Could someone get me out of these handcuffs, please? <laughs> Tell me why I shouldn't kill you. John, a little help here? A real man would not need help. He would help himself. Look, it's not like that. He knows I'm his pal. Why wouldn't I help him? It's cause we're pals. <laughs> I bring us back the transport and the arms we require. You, you bring back a worthless aristocrat. We don't need his money. We have what we need to finish this, thanks to me. He ain't worthless, you overgrown bicep. He already got us an EMP device and the failing ski. I'll betcha I can find a use for him. I do not care how much these two swoon over you, Wayne. We don't want you here, and we don't need you here. What the hell? John, <laughs> turn it off! Turn it off! Now! Can you do something about this? It's freeze. Freeze is gone. What have you done? You need to uncuff me. Don't screw this up. You fool! I can turn it off. Make it stop! Or I will seal you both in ice! I swear, if you don't get that electricity back on immediately, I'll send you to a frozen hell. We know that it works. I must check on Nora. See how she is. You may have impressed these two, but I haven't made up my mind about crushing your skull. Fair enough. Everyone back to work. There's still a lot to get done. Who put you in charge? Somebody has to give the orders. <laughs> That was a nice job before. Come on up to my office. Listen, Bruce. I just wanna 
clear the air a little. You distanced yourself from us back at your office. I don't blame you after all the trouble I caused. You probably noticed I like to stir things up. It's a bad habit, and, well, it's made me more enemies than friends. I want to say I'm sorry for messing with your people, your employees. I know they probably mean a lot to you. Thank you, Harley. Your apology means a lot. Really? You probably think I'm a terrible person, but I want you to understand. You've seen these animals I work with. In my business, you let your guard down for a second, you get torn to shreds. I can only imagine. If I'm always pushing buttons, it's to keep people off balance, you know? Keep them guessing my next move. Keep the real me hidden. I hope you ain't gonna judge me for it. To be honest, I've been at it so long I don't even notice I'm doing it. It's just a part of who I am. I'll be honest, Harley, I wasn't sure what to make of you. I'm impressed. I'm gonna take that as a compliment. But don't push your luck. You ain't like these others. Bane's a powder keg, Freeze. <laughs> well, you saw Freeze. John's sweet, and believe me, he's got heaps of potential. But he's still a growing boy. You, though, you got your head screwed on right. You're reasonable. I can work with reasonable. We're pulling a job tonight. I want you to be a part of it. You already showed you know how to use that EMP better than any of these other clowns. I want you to come with. So what's in it for me? What's my cut? <laughs> what do you need a cut for? I thought you said you were in this for thrills. Believe me, honey. You're gonna get them in abundance. As for what we're up to... All will be revealed eventually. Using that EMP, though? That's gonna make tonight's job a whole lot less messy. And that no-neck asshat pain, he loves making a mess. <laughs> People getting killed just makes his day. If you're gonna come with... You gotta convince the others. Convince them? It's a real pain in the ass sometimes, but you need a majority opinion for anything big. And bringing you along... Well... You got some persuading to do. Let me know how I can help. I get the feeling Bane doesn't like me very much. That knucklehead respects strength and loyalty. Show me you got those? And he'll come around. He's a man's man. I don't got much time for all that burly machismo, but sit him down for a beer or something. He'll hear what you gotta say. He may kill you when you're done, but at least he'll listen. So what's the deal with Freeze? He's... unique. You mean why he's blue and wrapped up in machinery? Accident in the lab. Here's the thing about Freeze. Only thing he gives two hoots about is his wife. He gave up everything to try and save her when she got sick. And I mean everything. Job, health, soul, the whole shebang. She's dead. Frozen stiff. Keeps her on ice in the next room while he searches for a cure. Ain't that just kooky? I mean, that explains why he flipped when the EMP went off. But seriously, who does that? I doubt his wife would approve if she realized what he's become. She'd probably never want to wake up, exactly. So he'd be better off not getting what he wants. You can say that again, but he might not want to hear it. Talking about his wife is the only way to get Freeze to pay attention to you. But watch yourself. His attention ain't always a good thing. 